The management of irrigation in a production nursery directly affects plant growth and profitability. Excessive irrigation can waste water, energy and labour, can leach nutrients and reduce growing media aeration. Insufficient irrigation can stress the crop, affect plant quality and reduce crop uniformity. Irrigation scheduling refers to how long, how often and when an irrigation system is operated to replenish the amount of water lost from a container since the last irrigation event. Effective irrigation scheduling has the following benefits. Monitoring and refining an irrigation schedule is one of the most cost-effective ways of improving water use efficiency. The following video contains information on the factors that affect irrigation scheduling and some methods that can be used to monitor it more effectively. An effective irrigation schedule identifies the optimum growing medium moisture content, the amount of water to apply, and when to apply the irrigation. The characteristics of growing media affect the amount of water available to the plant. The volume of water retained in a growing media depends on the range of particle sizes. This also influences the amount of air held in the media. The higher the air fill porosity, the lower the water holding capacity. Plants draw water from the growing media and lose or transpire the majority of that water through the leaves in a process called evapotranspiration. The amount of evapotranspiration depends on the environmental conditions, plant type and stage of crop development, with the amount of water available governed by the growing media and irrigation scheduling practices. Plants in the open exposed to full sunlight and wind will use more water than plants under shade cloth, where solar radiation, temperature and wind are all reduced. Plants grown in polyhouses can experience higher temperatures and humidities, but are exposed to less solar radiation and wind. In summer, plants grown in polyhouses will generally use less water than plants outside. However, the opposite could be the case in winter or during wet weather. An efficient irrigation schedule is dependent on a well-maintained efficient irrigation system with a uniform irrigation distribution. Nursery irrigation managers need to know how much water the irrigation system applies as well as how quickly and how uniformly it is applied. A catch can test is the best way to determine this. There are a number of other factors that may need to be taken into account when deciding on an appropriate irrigation schedule. Irrigation scheduling can be accomplished manually, but is more effective when using an irrigation controller. Irrigation controllers can be an effective way of improving irrigation scheduling, provided they are programmed and managed properly. The budgeting or percentage function on an irrigation controller can be a convenient way to change run times over the whole production area. To identify the best irrigation schedule without overwatering while achieving an appropriate level of leaching requires an objective means of determining the amount of water to apply. Weighing containers and using data from an automatic weather station or using a Class A evaporation pan can assist with irrigation scheduling. Weighing a representative container from an irrigation block before and after irrigation can be used in conjunction with irrigation manager's skill and experience to schedule irrigation according to the current weather conditions. By measuring and recording the weights of a range of plants in various irrigation blocks, plants with similar water use can be grouped together. Measuring plant water requirements over the growing cycle and over a number of years will develop an understanding of the water requirements for the full range of plants grown. An automatic weather station can calculate the daily evapotranspiration, or ET, from the recorded weather data. Using the daily ET value, irrigation runtimes can be calculated using the mean application rate of the irrigation system. 
a less accurate alternative is to obtain daily evapotranspiration values from internet weather sites. A Class A evaporation pan is a simple method of obtaining reliable and consistent information on daily evaporation. The previous day's evaporation value can be used to calculate and set the irrigation volume for the day. A Class A evaporation pan has specific construction and location parameters. The evaporation data is normally measured daily at 9am. To obtain accurate and consistent measurements, it is important that the readings and refilling of the pan occur regularly at this time. Further information on irrigation scheduling can be found in the publication Managing Water in Plant Nurseries or for more detail refer to the nursery paper Scheduling Irrigation to Maximise Efficiency, August 2006. This video has been supported by the Queensland Government Department of Natural Resources and Mines under the Rural Water Use Efficiency Irrigation Futures Initiative. Special thanks go to the following businesses for their assistance in producing this video.